All right, so you're rocking that new Android phone in 2025, and you're not just here to crush candy or scroll through feeds, are you? Yeah, I thought so. You're curious about ethical hacking, about cybersecurity, and you're ready to turn that pocket computer into your own personal hacking lab. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're diving deep into 14 killer Android apps designed for beginners who are serious about learning ethical hacking. We're talking network analysis, vulnerability scanning, even a little bit of social engineering, all from the palm of your hand. Disclaimer. Now, before we get into it, remember this video is purely for educational purposes. Everything we discuss here is meant to be used responsibly and ethically. Always hack with permission and never use these tools for illegal activities. Got it? Good, let's get started. First up, let's talk Termux. This app is legendary. It basically transforms your Android phone into a full-blown Linux terminal emulator. Think of it like this. It's the foundation, the command center for a lot of the hacking you'll be doing. You can install a ton of hacking tools directly within Termux using the package manager. We're talking Nmap for network scanning, Hydra for password cracking, even Metasploit if you want to get really advanced. The learning curve might seem a little steep at first, but trust me, getting comfortable with the command line is essential if you're serious about ethical hacking. Plus, there are tons of resources online to help you get started with Termux. It's completely free, and it's the perfect way to get that real hacker vibe going, right from your phone. Next up is the NetHunter Store. Now, this isn't Kaylee Linux itself running on your phone, but it's the next best thing. Think of it as the official app store for Kaylee Linux tools, but specifically designed for Android. You'll find a curated selection of penetration testing tools, network scanners, forensic utilities, and a bunch more, all optimized to run smoothly on your phone. The best part? Just like Kaylee Linux, the NetHunter Store and all the apps within it are completely open source and free to use. This means you can dive into the code, see how these tools work under the hood, and even modify them if you want to get your hands dirty. It's a fantastic way to learn ethical hacking from the inside out. All right, let's talk about Zonti. This app is a beast when it comes to network penetration testing. It's often called the Metasploit for Android, and for a good reason. Zonti lets you simulate real-world cyber attacks on your own network to identify vulnerabilities before someone else does. Want to see if your Wi-Fi is vulnerable to a man-in-the-middle attack? Zonti can do that. Curious about password sniffing? Zonti's got you covered. Curious about device fingerprinting? Zonti's got you covered. Keep in mind this is some powerful stuff, so use it responsibly. Always test on your own networks or with explicit permission. But if you want to understand how hackers find and exploit weaknesses, Zonti is an incredible learning tool. Chapter 4 now, if you're looking for a more comprehensive network analysis and penetration testing suite, Csploit is your new best friend. This app packs a punch. It can map your entire network, scan for open ports, identify vulnerabilities in connected devices, and even test for known exploits. And the best part is that it's surprisingly user-friendly. The interface is clean and intuitive, even for beginners. But don't let that fool you. Csploit is packed with advanced features that even seasoned ethical hackers will appreciate. From network discovery to vulnerability exploitation, CESploit gives you a complete arsenal of tools to analyze and test your network security. Chapter 5. Ever wonder what's actually happening behind the scenes when you're browsing the web or using an app? Packet Capture lets you become a digital detective. This tool captures raw network packets, those tiny bits of information that make up all internet traffic, and lets you inspect them in detail. You'll see the source and destination IPs, the protocols being used, and even the data being transmitted, though it might look like gibberish at first. Packet capture is like a crash course in network protocols, cookies, headers, all the stuff that makes the internet work. For ethical hackers, this is invaluable. Understanding how data flows across a network is key to identifying vulnerabilities and potential attack vectors. All right, let's talk about Fing. This app is a classic for a reason. It gives you a simple, clean way to see every single device connected to your Wi-Fi network. Think of it as a headcount for your network. You'll see IP addresses, device names, MAC addresses, and even the manufacturer. This is super helpful for identifying unknown devices that might be leeching off your Wi-Fi or worse, could be malicious. Fing also lets you scan for open ports on devices, which can give you clues about potential vulnerabilities. 
It's a tool used by professionals, but designed for anyone to understand. Now, let's dive into the world of Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi Analyzer. This app is perfect for understanding how Wi-Fi networks work, which is crucial for any aspiring ethical hacker. You'll see signal strengths visualized, channel usage, and even how congested your Wi-Fi environment is. This is key information for attackers who want to target weak Wi-Fi networks. By understanding how they choose their targets, you can better secure your own network. Wi-Fi Analyzer also helps you optimize your own Wi-Fi by showing you the least congested channels to use. So you're not just learning about security, you're actually improving it. Moving on from Wi-Fi, let's talk about cellular networks with NetMonster. This app is a deep dive into the world of cell towers, signal strengths, and mobile network behavior. Ethical hackers can use NetMonster to understand how cellular signals work, detect potential spoofed cell towers, like IMSI catchers, and even map out cellular network coverage in an area. It's a fascinating tool for anyone interested in the technical aspects of mobile communications, and it can be particularly useful for security researchers investigating mobile network vulnerabilities. Now, for a bit of an old-school vibe, let's check out Hackode. This app has been around for a while, but it still packs a punch, especially for beginners. Think of it as a multi-tool for ethical hackers. It's got modules for Google dorking, finding sensitive information exposed online, reconnaissance, IP tracking, and a lot more. The interface might feel a bit dated compared to some of the newer apps, but don't let that fool you. Hackode is still a valuable resource for learning the basics of ethical hacking and experimenting with different techniques. Chapter 10. You can't talk about ethical hacking without mentioning Nmap. It's the gold standard for network scanning, and the good news is, it's available on Android. You can either install it directly through Termux using the command line, or if you prefer a more visual approach, there are GUI versions of Nmap available on the Play Store. Nmap lets you discover devices on a network, identify open ports and services running on those devices, and even fingerprint operating systems. It's an incredibly powerful tool for network reconnaissance and vulnerability assessment. Chapter 11. Now this next one is a bit different. Androrat is a tool often used for legitimate remote administration, but it can also be used maliciously. Don't worry, we're only going to use it for educational purposes. By understanding how Androrat works, you'll gain valuable insights into how attackers can potentially gain access to Android phones. This is crucial for developing strong mobile security habits. Remember, always use Androrat in a controlled environment, like on your own devices, and never use it for any illegal activities. Ever wonder how data actually travels from your phone to a website server? Intrace lets you visualize that journey. It uses a technique called tracer route, which sends out packets and maps the route they take across the internet. You'll see each hop the data takes, the IP address of each server along the way, and even the time it takes for the data to travel between those points. It's like getting a behind the scenes look at the internet's infrastructure. All right, let's talk about Weigel which stands for Wireless Geographic Logging Engine. This app and its accompanying website allow you to map Wi-Fi networks globally. Now, before you start thinking about some Mr. Robot-style hacking, remember, we're using this ethically. Ethical hackers and security researchers use Wiggle to identify open, insecure, or misconfigured Wi-Fi networks. This data can then be used to inform network owners about potential vulnerabilities and help them improve their security it's a fascinating way to visualize the wireless world around us and understand the importance of strong Wi-Fi security. And finally, let's wrap things up with an app that's all about privacy, the Tor Browser. Tor stands for the Onion Router and it's designed to anonymize your internet traffic. It does this by bouncing your communications through a network of relays around the world, making it very difficult to trace your online activity back to you. Now, while Tor is a powerful tool for privacy, it's important to understand its limitations. It's not a magic bullet for anonymity, and it's essential to use it responsibly. But for ethical hackers and anyone concerned about online privacy, the Tor browser is a must-have tool. So there you have it, 14 powerful Android apps that can turn your phone into a powerful ethical hacking toolkit. 
Remember, knowledge is power, but it's how you use that power that matters. Your Android phone is no longer just a gadget. It's now your first cybersecurity lab. Use these tools wisely, learn consistently, and build real skills that can land you jobs, gigs, or even save organizations from real cyber attacks. Comment Android if you're ready to become an ethical hacker. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful, subscribe for weekly hacking lessons, and share this video with anyone curious about hacking from their phone. Until next time, stay ethical and stay curious.